Yo, it's Giggerty Gang, it's Giggerty back with another video. Today's video, I got some Black Friday pickups that I've already scooped because a lot of these sales been starting early. So I got a couple of stuff that I wanted to show you. Dance on me, dance on me. Bring it back, baby, just dance on me. Brought your heels to the party. Ain't here to hurt nobody. I'm an old So right here, I got a bunch of items that pretty much I picked up on like an early Black Friday shopping spree, which a lot of these sales are already going on. So I had to make sure I inform y'all. But we're going to start off with some of the pieces that I picked up. So to start off with one of the craziest sales that's going on, of course you gotta start off with minimal because they always have great prices first of all, and then on top of that, they're having an early access Black Friday sale, which usually they have every year, but it starts from the 25th to the 28th. But access to this sale is limited, so you have to use the link down in the description, which will take you to it. I believe you just like put in your email or something like that, but this is one of the best sales of the year because it's 30% off no matter what you buy. So you don't have to spend like $100 just to get 30% off. Like it's 30% off everything. But if you're late to watching this, they still are having a 30% off sale from the 29th to the second, which I believe is Black Friday to Cyber Monday. But you just won't have early access to all the fresh stuff by the time you get there might be gone but me personally i just doubled up on some stuff that i already like the shape of it and i kind of just got the other colorway of it this right here is the field jacket i already have it in the olive color so i went ahead and scooped it in black same details quality is still there buttons utilities pockets everything's fire about the jacket i also scooped the black version of the crop puffer jacket which i'm actually wearing right now in camo had to get the black because i just love the shape of this jacket i actually think the camo one pops out a little bit more but you know, the black one is just as fire shape wise and size wise so i also scooped some bottoms that i don't have yet now i caught these cargo shorts and i know y'all probably like yo why'd you cop shorts in the winter first of all it's not cold everywhere second of all I know that these always like run out. Like the last time I tried to get these, they didn't have my size. So I was like, yo, I'm gonna hop on that, especially before everybody like goes crazy and buying them on Black Friday. So we went ahead and scooped these just cause I needed them. I also picked up the raw pleated sweatpants in the navy blue color. I already got these in a the gray and I wear the gray ones pretty often. So I was like, yo, it's a no brainer for me to get the navy ones. This is something real cozy that you can literally just wear around the house and they look fire. So, so lastly from minimal, I got these M165 denims in this blue colorway, which is crazy because they got this different type of bleach into them all over. And then on top of the bleach, you got this nice print of skulls. It's like four, four skulls down the leg, but I think it's like a 3M. Um, I tried to shine a light on it. It looks kind of reflective, so I'm assuming it's 3M. But I just thought it was a nice subtle add to it. You can't really see the skulls until you really get up close, but I thought these was dope. So next up, I got these two matching pieces from A Piece of Cake. I've talked about this brand before on this channel, but it's a Japan-based brand. They make some really dope items, and I went on there and scooped a few things. So first is this fleece vest, which by the way is reversible. Honestly, I just love how this fleece looks on top of like another piece of black clothing. But this joint's fire. They have this stitched in Street Cats Club on the front, which is dope. But on the back is where they really went crazy with the stitching and has like a whole graphic with two cats on it. Little stars and just, this is just fire in my opinion. So I don't know, man. And then on the reverse side, you really just have like this nice interior that has the APOC stitched across the back. So, But the whole thing is it matches perfectly with this hat. So if you want to wear it as a set, I'm telling you, it's going to look completely fire. Has the Street Cats Club on the front of it. And this is overall a hard bucket hat. Now, I'm not quite sure if APOC is having a sale, but if they are, I will put it down in the corner so you guys can kind of see the sale details. I'll do that for the rest of the items as well, but just to let y'all know. Next two pieces is by Jaded London, which I've shopped with before and they always come through with nice quality stuff. London based brand. And the first thing that I got right here is this evil smile, like distressed knitted sweater, which is kind of like an oversized sweater, but this joint is just crazy in my opinion. Um, just the evil smile of it. It's kind of like some, some Halloween type stuff, but I just like the vibe of it, especially with the distress. Now it's distressed on the collar, the bottom of the sweater and the sleeves. And I think that overall touch to it just gives it a cooler like feel. I don't know, a lot of, you don't really see a lot of distressed knitted stuff because it can like fray and stuff like that. I don't know, but this is just absolutely fire. Next up, we got these relaxed pinstripe kind of like bleach pants, but they're more like a like a dress pant. But I just think these are dope. Um, I just wanted to try something new, kind of like jump outside of that like comfort zone of just wearing like regular jeans and stuff. But these are definitely fire, bit wider of a leg, but I don't know. 
I'm excited to see like how I'm gonna pull these off. I haven't really came up with an outfit idea. I kind of just like scooped them, but these are hard. Now these next three pieces right here is by a brand called OH2X. I actually have stuff from them, but I wanted to try out some more stuff. Now this right here is a vintage style cardigan vest. So I was like, yo, that's pretty different. I really like the pattern on it. So I was like, yo, why not go ahead and scoop that, see what I can do with it. This is fire. I really been needing like a vest, like a sweater vest. And this was kind of like right up the alley. So I can definitely see this pulled off with maybe like some, uh, like a white t-shirt under some khaki pants, some, some real nice and classy. Another sweater from them is this Miami knit sweater. Honestly, what I really want to express about this sweater right here is the quality of it, the stretch of it, like just whatever blend of like cotton and like elastic that they use with this is completely on point like you'll be able to see it maybe when i'm wearing it but you'll definitely be able to see it at hand i'm telling you it's definitely worth the cop but overall like i just think this is a cool graphic has like these nice lines through the miami graphic and i just think it stands out now lastly from them i caught these trousers right here now i will say i'm really not a fan of these trousers right here because of the material and the cut of them these kind of feel like women's pants to me so i'm not even gonna try one because they kind of fit too tight and they show a little bit too much so i'm just i don't know i'm not really a fan of these i probably won't get that much wear out of them but this is for y'all so y'all kind of know my opinions on stuff before you spend your money so as far as the clothes right here i got two jackets from a brand called you're cool this jacket i actually wore in a video um i think it was the most affordable jackets under a hundred dollars however that title was this was the jacket i was wearing a lot of people were asking about it so here it is um it's a very very nice jacket it runs for 200 dollars on the website i believe um it's a really nice material coat like it really feels nice it's not super thick but you still get that nice warmth from it just based off like the fur that was used on it so so you got that nice sterling coat um all the details are there and leather straps to put across the top of it. it has some really nice details in the back just like with the leather stripes that go through it i just think adds a really classy look to the jacket then right here you got a hooded sterling coat which resembles a lot of the yeezy season coat um I, is that like yeezy season one or two or something like that but one of like the first yeezy seasons definitely had a coat like this and i've always wanted it so this was my opportunity to get it this joint is like 50 bucks bro so like this is definitely well worth the cop in my opinion um nice materials it doesn't really feel like a 50 dollars jacket like it definitely feels a lot higher quality but hey go cop this while you can so lastly i got two pair of shoes from hoka it was nice enough to hook your boy up um this pair right here is this all black joints yo i had to get these all black they're the bondi sixes so yo these joints is clean honestly you can never like have enough all black shoes they literally go with everything i have a bunch of different all black shoes that are just different shapes at this point so some shapes kind of go with different stuff like you wouldn't wear a boot with everything you wouldn't wear a chunky sneaker with everything you wouldn't wear a vans with everything so this is a shoe that i could just like put with different stuff to be honest but the quality of these is crazy because they are super lightweight Obviously, y'all know Hoka 11 is a running shoe brand, but super lightweight, a whole bunch of cushion. This is probably one of like the most lightest, comfortable shoes in my rotation right now. Lastly, we got the Bondi B model, and these are not, not the same, but kind of similar as far as structure goes. Obviously a different colorway, but these is one of those shoes that you can just wear casually almost. You feel me? So like you can wear these with like a pair of khakis or something like that and it'll still look very streetwear but very like classy at the same time i don't know how to explain it but these are definitely dope um they feel almost identical to the black joints that i just showed so i don't know these are fire so that's what i picked up for black friday hopefully i don't go spending any more money because it ain't even black friday yet so Hopefully, you know what I'm saying, I spend wisely. Hopefully y'all spend wisely, especially with this information that I just gave you. But um, that's pretty much it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you go down, hit the like button. Y'all know I always go crazy by hitting the like button. Follow my Instagram, stuff like that. Um, subscribe, of course. But besides that, man, I'll be back to you guys with more videos. Yeah, dance on me, dance on me. Bring it back, baby, just dance on me. Brought your heels to the party. Ain't here to hurt nobody. I'm an old soul